Hi everyone, it's Matt from Mark Roberts Motion Control with another Flare 7 tutorial, this time showing you the Move Import feature. Suppose you have a move visualized in another CGI software application showing the path of the camera. In that case, Flare gives you the ability to import that same move so it can be physically shot with a motion control rig. I'll go through a few examples to show you some of the most used features when importing a move. Flare can import any of the text-based files that Flare has already exported, or FBX files containing the camera path and additionally the target and up vector positions. Increasing the read granularity field above 1 will skip frames from the import file, which for a large move is useful if you do not want a waypoint at every frame. If you do require the resulting move to follow the import file exactly, leave this at 1. But keep in mind a large number of waypoints is harder to manage if any additional modifications are made in Flare. The set speed checkbox means that the move speed will use the speed value specified in the file. You can import a segment of the file by checking the Import Range box and then entering the start and end points. Moves created in Flare start at frame 0 by default, but the file you are importing may be a portion of a scene it came from, and so the move can be adjusted to start at 0. Importing an FBX file follows the same process, except that you also need to select the camera and take number that's stored within the FBX file. For this next move, I will import as Mimic, this means that the move will be created between a start and end waypoint, corresponding to the first and last frames of the file. The rest of the data is imported as a mimic move, and the imported axes are set in mimic mode on completion of the import. This allows all the data to be imported and followed implicitly without having a large number of waypoints. Imported moves can also be scaled, translated and rotated, which is useful if the file you are importing does not match the same units or coordinate space. A scale value greater than 1 will scale the move up. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye for now.